Let's continue on. We were doing more the radiation test for Moira, which means we need to get a radiation level of what? 600 or more severe radiation sickness. But there's a bomb in the middle of that city, so that should not be too hard. You want something? Let's drink the radiated water. You now have radi radiation poisoning. Is it a doctor or take right away to lower your radiation level? You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking Grad X, which increases radiation resistance. Usually, something X line increases your resistance to something. Minor radiation poisoning. We need over 600. We're about halfway there. We are reaching for 400 soon. Now going over 400. Over five hundred. Huh? Hello. Good morning. Uh, going over six hundred. Hey there. Yeah, yeah. Critical radiation sickness. Hi. God. <sighs> Do we look any different? Mm, I don't know, maybe a bit pale. It's hard to say. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'll kill you after I've done all of your quests. Okay. I'm as, I'm about as irradiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Hmm. Too tired to be. It's night. No, just do your examination and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, Maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Hmm. Moira's experiment had an unexpected side effect. Now, when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. So, only a positive thing as far as the game mechanics are concerned. Landmine research. Ah. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? 
Yeah, that seems kind of unhealthy. What better reward for avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives? Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? <sighs> Moira is sort of uh, sort of annoying, but if she also sort of crows on you, because he she's so different from everyone else here. So. <sighs> What could possibly go wrong with this? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Have fun out there, okay? Okay, travel to the playground, bring a landmine back. I, I want a lot of extra carry weight on this one. I'll try to bring back as many mines as I can. Yeah, I'll drop one of the security armors here. It weighs quite a bit. The grenades also weigh, so that's a bit of a disappointment because our other ammunition doesn't weigh anything. I guess it's truly treated as a secondary weapon. Never meant to be a primary weapon, same with the mines. Uh, I can understand the mines though, they could be quite easy to exploit quite a bit if you could have an infinite amount of them in your pack Good pocket. To see you. you could just spring up a minefield from nothing. You still can but you have to sacrifice a lot of uh, a lot of weight weight to achieve the same thing. Um. I want to be crouching before doing that. Doing the quick travel thing. Okay, it's in a totally new direction. Ooh, that's a large distance to travel. We're very likely to encounter a lot of other things before even reaching there. Uh, we could visit Canterbury Commons while we're there. Rivet City. This is uh getting through Rivet City is a dangerous trouble. Hmm. Uh, maybe we will go to Spring with Vale School and travel across according to the road. Go to Canterbury Commons and the minefield. I don't know. Yeah, Super Duper Mart would be a probably a better way to go about this. Let's go to Super Duper Mart then. We set our own marker there, so that's Minefield, and that's Canterbury Commons. I'll keep uh, the Assault Rifle as my primary weapon when I travel here. It's not that I intend to use it as a primary weapon, it's if I get surprise attacked by something, I want a lot of... Uh, Rapid fire stopping power weapon to be the first thing I whip out. If it's a long distance enemy, I have I always have the time to change the weapon to something 
a little less damaging. So in case something unexpected happens, I want to have a solid good weapon right immediately at hand. I don't think we need to worry about mines until we get very very close to minefield. Uh, so... There's a mine. Of course there had to be a mine 5 seconds after I said that. But yeah. Nowhere is completely safe. This was someone's shelter so it was protected. Usually there's not a lot of defenses all over the place. Minefield is probably the exception. Exception in the sense that you wouldn't expect a normal city to be that in place at the moment. If there's a... Got to cover. If there's an actual defensive line of like warring factions then that's a different matter. Always expect trouble then. Duck and cover! Explosives increased by two! Again, not worthwhile to come and stick our nose and into this place. Minute or two time wasted. Gained a handful of grenades and extra skill points. And more importantly, we guaranteed the fact that I can. Uh, those are raiders. I, I can disarm mines. It requires some skill, so it's not guaranteed that you can do it. Yeah, I didn't really consider that. Traveling by road might be the easiest way to reach places, but they're also infested with raiders. So, comes out with a cost. I don't want to fight against all those raiders. If it go if we stumble upon raiders, that's a different thing. I'll I'll fight them, but I, I don't want to go out of my way to fight them. What the hell is that? I see a hostile, but I don't really know what it is. It spotted me. I still can't see what it is. Completely has spotted me though. What the hell is it? Dog. No, uh, this weapon isn't exactly a great weapon. When the dog takes a ton of sh shots to kill. But it's better than having a hunting rifle in a situation like that, where you can easily take your one shot and miss with it. I don't think we can enter there. Where's the map? The raiders were somewhere there. Maybe even there. The crossroad should be defended or with a some kind of a community or uh, uh, otherwise it's fairly certain to have a raider. Vader camp near there. Yeah, this looks like it could be manned by raiders. You have to be wary of traps. If any kind of 
place where someone is holding a defensive line or position is pretty likely trapped to some degree. Might be a simple trip wire, it doesn't always have to be explosives, but there's something. What is it? God. Ah, uh, skinny dog. I'm not really angry about it because of the dogs, they're in really shitty condition. Main G maps. So it's about survival for them. They look like they're starving. Skin conditions. All the nasty stuff. Mm. Or, uh, seems to be a few intact buildings there. So I don't want to go towards minefields quite yet. Is that? Yeah, it's very far away still. Hmm. It very well could be a community here. I don't see a map marker, so there's not a town or anything. Still, there could be people. Be raiders, yeah, something hostile. This house looks odd, racist, suspicious. Might have a guard in front of it, something like that even. Robot. Might want to invest in repair. It seems our weapons are degrading quite fast. Energy cells, scrap metal. Yeah, I'm carrying around a lot of scrap metal. It doesn't matter as long as we reach one of our goal sites here, because if we we can do a quick travel between them, and I can get rid of the scrap metal. It's the guy who wanted me to fix the water pipes. That's he wants the scrap. It's a good little thing I can do for the community without without using up any really valuable resources. Going through the rubble quickly, just eyeing if I can see some something out of place. What the hell is that? What the hell are those? A group of raiders. Ooh, it's a grenade! Holy crap! I'm not hitting anything! The reason I my accuracy is so crap is because I got hit. I have a lot of crippled locations here. I can't see anything anymore. I need to use a steam bag immediately. It's what a character at this point too. So anything that's crippled, try to get it fixed. At least now we have a good operational condition. 
Okay, the guy doesn't have a direct line of fire on me anymore. But yeah, that shower of grenades really got me. If that guy sees me again, we need to stop sneaking immediately. Once we've killed it, and once we die, of course, we'll do some healing. There is the bastard. Pretty sure we didn't get any good hits on him. Where the hell is he? I would assume somewhere in the direction we were. Certainly spammed us with grenades. Well, did it he go? And take anything. <laughs> Almost killed me and just ran away. What a bastard. Maybe he ran uh, out of grenades and didn't want to stay there anymore. <sighs> it's there he is shit. Okay, I think it's time for us to heal up a bit. I'll try hold. No, I think the grenade thrower ba basically attacked in our direction, and that's who we killed first. We were just playing baseball. Oh. So our first potential de deadly situation. And that night is coming. We need to check this area quite fast. When it gets dark it's not gonna be not gonna be fun any anymore to go through all these. We need to take a quick look now. Well when there's still light I'm looking for a chest container, something locked. Maybe a uh, access door to below ground, something like that. Something that really sticks out immediately. See that? There's a little moving part on top of the mailbox. I think that's a proximity sensor, so it's, it's trapped.
metro ticket. I'll take the metro ticket. It has no weight, so not take it. Um, maybe I can disarm the trap. Raiders inside there. You could hear a small noise like something being released. Maybe I. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you can even disarm those. I didn't want to go in there not knowing if I could disarm it. For all I know there were live grenades already waiting for waiting for me to stick my hand in there so not worth the risk. Seems like this is just the center of an old town. Lot of buildings. Lot of potential traps, lot of ambush points. You can't go sneaking through everything here. It's night already. Yeah, I forgot that the night time in this game is uh, basically a daytime with less colors. Uh, I don't really mind this in this game because it it has been it it lacks all night vision well maybe not all but night vision in general so if you had such abilities and equipment having a darker night wouldn't be all that much of a trouble having power armor would also had advantages besides having a top armor you would have access to technological visions and things like that maybe other than maybe not just night vision it could be heat vision it could be anything options but now that everyone can see without any effort it's sort of uh, sort of pointless also little use to use your light all the time no danger of traveling through the night. Fudge.